So uh, kidney cancer, there's about 60,000 new cases a year of kidney cancer in the United States. Um, some of the, uh, the symptoms of kidney cancer are usually um, blood in the urine, uh, pain, and that can be abdominal or back pain, um, and a, a palpable mass. We see a lot of patients um, currently that have um, had a renal mass or cyst that's been discovered incidentally. Uh, there'll be a lot of patients that'll go to the ER for back pain or some other issue and they'll get a CAT scan. We're getting a lot more imaging. It's, imaging is a bigger part of diagnosis of many conditions. And oftentimes they'll find something on the kidney that will look suspicious and that'll prompt a referral to Urology of Indiana. Okay, I had a da Vinci nephrectomy. Um, my tumor was diagnosed. I was very lucky. I was in to have my abdominal aortic aneurysm, which I have checked by yearly. Um, checked in, in the CAT scan, they picked this little rascal up. At Urology of Indiana, we see quite a bit of uh, renal pathology. Uh, renal is just a fancy doctor term for kidney pathology, uh, and pathologist means abnormal. Uh, and the type of tumors that we see as far as kidney cancers go, there's really uh, two distinct types. Uh, one is what we call renal cell carcinoma, and that's generally the, the cancer of the meat of the kidney, what we call the medulla. The other type of cancer that we typically see that would involve the kidney uh, is what we call transitional cell carcinoma. And that type of tumor is a little bit different than that it affects the lining of the, of the uh, urinary tract and uh, can affect anywhere along uh, from the top of the kidney all the way down into the bladder. And the treatment for kidney cancer is typically surgical excision. Uh, there's not a lot of chemotherapy or radiation therapy that, that works for, for early kidney cancer. Um, so one of the things then that we try to do is individualize the treatment options to the specific patient. For kidney cancer, the treatment standard, uh, the, the standard treatment has always been an open, either full nephrectomy, removal of the entire kidney, or partial nephrectomy, remover, removal of just the tumor with just enough normal kidney to make sure we get negative margins. Um, and that has, the, uh, that has really been the gold standard for the longest time. Since 1990, we have started, urologists have started performing laparoscopic procedures on the kidney. And uh, what, what is, um, over the last decade, laparoscopic partial nephrectomies has become much more common, and laparoscopic nephrectomies for that matter. Um, we've also now progressed to using robotics. And robotics is instrumentation that allows us to essentially perform some techniques that we are limited with um, with laparoscopic techniques that we have as an open technique. So it's been a nice bridge in terms of allowing us to expand who we can offer minimally invasive surgery to. We're talking going from an incision that's about like that to several incisions that are smaller. Patients can go home uh, out of the hospital um, within a couple days and then their first month or so of recovery, uh, they're back to, to back to work faster, they're back to their normal activities a lot faster. If you have to have a surgery, that's the kind of surgery to have. It is so easy. Uh, when we talk about minimally invasive approaches, we're talking about making small incisions, insufflating the abdomen with carbon dioxide, and under laparoscopy, resection of these smaller tumors. And the robotics has really, really facilitated us to be able to excise larger tumors and even tumors that are very intrarenal, in other words, within the kidney. We want everything to be run very smoothly. There's enough stress on the patient and the family, uh, and so we're our system essentially allows uh, our team to organize everything to get uh, details about the time of the surgery, the preparations for surgery, uh, and then post-operatively, uh, very clear expectations about um, you know, post-operative discharge instructions, follow-up appointments, uh, and then cancer surveillance afterwards. So we really try to spell all that out for each patient and each family uh, such that they know exactly what they're going to be going through. At Urology of Indiana, we have a team of minimally invasive renal surgeons. We, act, we perform these surgeries r robotically, laparoscopically at all major hospital systems in central Indiana. Because our philosophy has always been to subspecialize in some of these procedures, we're able to have surgeons that perform these surgeries at a higher volume. Our goal has always been to provide the best care for the patient.